Dinitrogen trioxide in water yields what? There are two reactants, both are compounds, so this could be double replacement or synthesis. But dinitrogen trioxide is covalent, not ionic, so there are no ions to swap around, so it can't be double replacement. This must be a synthesis reaction. We start with dinitrogen trioxide, and I'm sure you can write water, and we want to find out what it produces. We go to our reaction rules, and we find that a non-metallic oxide in water yield an oxy acid. An oxy acid, being an acid, starts with H. We need to have a polyatomic ion after that. Obviously, since there's no other non-metal here, we need to have a nitrogen and some oxygens, but we don't know how many. We go back to our reac reaction rules, and we find that if the nitrogen in the reactant has a high oxidation number, this will make a polyatomic ion ending in 8, so nitrate. And if it's a low oxidation number, it'll make nitrite. So we need to get the oxidation number of the nitrogen. Nitrogen can have any of these oxidation numbers, minus 3, plus 3, or plus 5. We're looking at the positive oxidation numbers this time. The oxygen always has a negative 2, and there are three of them, which means the total negative oxidation numbers is minus 6. The positive oxidation numbers have to cancel that out, so they must be plus 6. Since there are two nitrogens, each of them must be plus 3. So we have the low oxidation number for nitrogen. That means this must be nitrite, which is NO2. We need to crisscross and make sure that the positives and negatives cancel out. Nitrite has a negative 1, and hydrogen is, of course, positive 1. So HNO2 is the correct formula. The last thing we really need to do here is balance. We have two nitrogens on the left and only one on the right, so we need to put a 2 there, and that will balance the entire equation. So the answer, dinitrogen trioxide and water, yields nitrous acid. It's nitrous because nitrite, ites become OUSs.